Hello, welcome to my channel, Namaste Tarot. My name is Kelly. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for Scorpio. So we'll go ahead and see what um, messages are here for you today, Scorpio. This is a general reading, so it may not resonate with you. Um, take what resonates, leave what doesn't behind. Uh, if it doesn't resonate with you, take a look at some of my other videos on my channels, uh, on my channels, <laughs> on my channel, and uh, there's there's definitely a message somewhere in there for you, especially uh, if you look at the different signs in your natal chart. So, yeah, let's get started. Today I'm going to be doing a reading with the Good Tarot mixed with the Mystical Shaman. Uh, just as a precursor, I am still learning the Mystical Shaman, so the messages will come out. They're just going to come out a little bit slower, <laughs> um, so I'll do my best, the best I can, okay? So here we go. Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio? Oh, the guy's got a lot of messages. Okay. Declutter, luck, health, and reinvent yourself. So declutter your life. Let go of correspondence, objects, and people who no longer you no longer want. Someone will hurt your feelings and reveal a new side of themselves that you may wish to avoid. And then we've got luck. A sudden change of luck is likely. Things are working in your favor. Excellent time for networking. Reinvent yourself. A transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new lease of life. Le a new lease of life. Yeah. And then we've got health. An excellent time to start an exercise program or diet. Many new friendships are on the horizon. Scorpio. I feel like I'm a slightly connecting with the Scorpio that maybe has recently gone through a breakup. Um, so if that's the case, I really feel as though like going through uh, your home and just cleaning out all this stuff that, you know, may remind you of your partner. Um, you know, you do have luck and you have reinvent yourself in health. So for me, that is, that's telling me that you're going to really start working out again. You're going to start really building yourself back up after this breakup that you might have um, experienced because I feel as though you, you know, maybe whatever kind of situation that happened, um, it really made you see who this, who this person truly was. And I feel as though Scorpio, you've decided like, okay, maybe you're not the one for me. And that's totally fine. Now, anybody else, um, you know, that's probably not for all the Scorpios here, of course, but, um, there is luck on the horizon. Uh, reinvent yourself. That's pretty much like the Scorpio card of the fortune cookie deck. Um, and yeah, I feel as though there's there's going to be a lot of love around you. Um, with that luck, it, so, it talks about excellent time for networking. And then we also have many new friendships are on the horizon. So very interesting, Scorpio. Let's Let's go ahead and see what other messages we can get for Scorpio. What other messages do you have for Scorpio, please? The circle. Okay. Apparently, you're going to get all Mystical Shaman cards today. Ton of bird energy. I'm feeling this like very free, free flowing energy coming from you. It's also like a lot of air energy. So you might be dealing with an Aquarius, um, Gemini or Libra. Oh, okay. So we got a vision, the vision quest. Messenger of fire, which is the knight of wands. And then we've got the nine of water. Wow. 
All right. What other messages do you have for Scorpio, please? So the council did come out for the last card of the drawing or the reading. Um, and then we also have the gatherer. So I feel like this really has to do with reinventing yourself, you know, going out and getting whatever is going to be, um, it's going to bring growth and nutrients to your life is what I'm getting from that. Oh, wow. So we do have this five of five of earth here. And I feel as though I feel as though this uh, and this is at the bottom of the deck. And then in the split, we've got the medicine will too. look at how beautiful that energy is. So pretty. This five of the five of Earth. The what I see here, what I see here, Scorpio, is like for whatever reason, like whatever happened here, um, there's some sort of loss of, of materials. This could be even you worried about money, something going on with money. But I feel like the only person really holding your holding you back is yourself, because I mean, look at how much light and energy is is behind this figure here. And she's just kind of like turned away from it as if she doesn't want to see it. If you would just turn around, you can see there's help. There's there's warm, loving energies around you. And I think it's interesting that underneath that card, we have the temptation card that did come out in the reverse. So I feel as though like this is a really good time for you to like get rid of any kind of toxic cycles, any kind of um, toxicity in your life, toxic people, you know, you could be deciding as well to, you know, cut out anything in your life that that doesn't serve your highest good, which is fantastic. And I think that goes with the reinventing yourself. So let's go ahead. I'm going to look at uh, the medicine wheel and just see what what messages are there. So, I feel as though, I feel as though this is, um, this is just like the wheel of fortune. So that's kind of like the energy that I'm getting. And, and though you've been kind of caught up in this, this sad morning energy, you know, feeling of loss, feeling like there's some, like you're missing something in your life. You're not feeling whole. This very well could be another person. You could be, like I said, worried about money. But ultimately with the wheel here, it's just showing, you know, this is, this is part of the cycle of life. Whatever it is that you're going through right now, there are important lessons to be learned right? There are, you know, you, you might have felt like you're on the bottom of this, but I mean, with the will, it is, it is constantly turning, right? It's constantly turning. So even if you're at the bottom of it, like you're, you're on the way, you're on your way up. Um, and I feel like Scorpio, if you don't see that, you're going to be seeing that very soon. Because we've got the nine of water to start the reading out which is a fantastic energy because of the nine of water. I mean, this is a uh, emotional wish fulfillment. This is, you know, this is having everything that you could possibly want emotionally. You know, this is, this is the wish card right here. Make a wish and it's granted and you get it how you, how you wished for it. You know, you wished for a new car and you wanted it to be red and boom, you got a new car and it's in red, you know, just like, like stuff like that, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be big, big things. I mean, you could wish that, you know, somebody makes you dinner one day a week or something like that. And it turns out like you go to work and your coworker brought you in dinner or something, you know, it's, it's, it's this like beautiful, beautiful energy like that. It's just, it's, it's something that you hoped for that you're getting. And you're getting it just the way you asked for. And I feel like Scorpio, you're even though you're going through some sort of healing and you're going through um, 
you know, kind of like, I feel like this is like regaining your confidence here. If it is some sort of um, worry about money and, and fives, fives always talk about difficulties and challenges and obstacles that we face in our day-to-day -day lives. So this very well could be, um, you know, it's just, just an obstacle along the cycle of life that, you know, you happen to be a part of. And I feel like your friends and your family and people that are close to you are really going to be important to you during this time because we do have the circle coming up next. And this is the circle is all about like collaboration and working together. Here we have the eight, which is the infinity symbol, which is, you know, it's just, it's infinite, like the circle, right? And I, and I'm really feeling like these two energies here, I mean, they even have like similar colors on the wheels. Um, so I feel as though, like, even with, you know, the circle, we have friends, we have people that we know that we get close to that we fall in love with. And, and, you know, the wheel, the wheel, the medicine wheel is here to show you like, yeah, some of these people you're going to lose along the way, but don't let that discourage you because you always have, you are never alone because you have your spirit, you know, you are a whole being all by yourself. And I feel like it's important to po uh, show this. This is the council. These are your, this is, you know, spirit, guardian, your guardian angels, um, energies around you. I mean, like, um, after my grandfather or before my grandfather passed away, he had told me um, that he prayed for me every day. And so it's, it's like that energy. It's like this beautiful energy that you get from, from other people, like the people that do love you, you know, this energy is coming in to support you, Scorpio. Um, this could be friends, you know, we have our soul families too. the, the families that we choose to be a part of on this planet compared to the ones that we we're born into. And I feel like that, that energy is really around you right now. And I feel as though too, um, I feel like too, seeing that it says an, this is an excellent time to start an exercise program or diet, many new friendships are on the horizon. I feel as so like as soon as you start this healing journey within you, your your vibrational energy is going to start to peak. It's going to or not peak, but it's going to start to transcend, you know, your your vibration is going to be higher. So ultimately, you're going to be attracting higher vibrational energies towards you in turn. So, I mean, you do have a lot of love around you. It looks like you've got emotional wish fulfillment here from the universe bringing this in. And I mean, you know, this, you know, whatever it is that you're going through, I feel as though it's a blessing in disguise, whatever time that you've had to take away to kind of work on yourself and heal yourself. I feel as though ultimately it's so that you can you can get this wish fulfilled. You're going to have a lot of friends around you too, working to help you with that. So if you're worried about networking, I wouldn't because the spirit's saying right here, right now that you've got a lot of, you've got a lot of energies coming towards you, a lot of good, healthy energy. So the next card that we have is the crow, which is 13. And Scorpio, this is, this is your card. This is, you know, 13, that's the number of the death card in the Rider Waite Tarot. And, you know, it's all about death and transformation. With the crow here, what this what this energy really talks about is is walking the walk and talking the talk. Like if you put out in the universe and you say, you know, you're talking to somebody and you're like, yeah, I'm gonna start doing this, and I'm gonna start doing that. This is this card is here to remind you that. Just because you say it doesn't mean that you actually do it. And this is something that I'm really guilty of, you know, and uh, I just recently found out that when you talk about things that you're going to do before you do them, it actually releases serotonin in your brain as if you've already done it, which is so strange to me. It's weird how, you know, the brain works like that. Um, 
but yeah, it does. So just make sure like if you have big plans, it's almost like keeping them to yourself in order to fulfill them. You know, it's fine to have a few friends or like one really close friend that you talk to and tell them like what's going on in your life. But, you know, I most recommend just just keeping it to yourself. And there's something so, so beautiful about not telling anyone your plans and then succeeding at them, you know? And then it's just like, oh, where's Scorpio? Oh, Scorpio's just rocking it, you know, (laughs) doing their thing. So next we have the eagle energy. And as you can see, this eagle is like swooping down um, to kind of land in this nest here. And, and with that, with this energy, what I get is like, it's really, I think it's like, you're, you're going to get some sort of wish fulfillment here. You're going to have help from your friends. You're going to start following through with the things that you say. And ultimately spirits telling you, you're going to find home within yourself. Okay. And if you don't know what I mean by that, it, it, it means that you know, home is where the heart is and your heart is in you, you know, and ultimately you should be the one that, that you love the most because ultimately you're going to be the one that loves you the most, (laughs) you know, you have to spend 24 hours a day with yourself for the rest of your life, you know, and why not love yourself and accept yourself for, for who you are. So I feel as though, um, I feel like you got a lot of goals here, Scorpio, even if this goal is, is healing, healing the energies inside of you, um, really working on transcending and manifesting what it is that you want in your life and co-creating with spirit. See what I mean by the air energy? Cause we've got three birds here. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and check out the owl. And see what that says. So, with the owl. If you think about owls, owls see great in the dark, right? They they even see great during the daytime. Like they have such wonderful vision. Um, and this is about noticing the small, the small things in life, noticing the things that you know most people would miss, but seeing them and being grateful for them, regardless if it's it's good or bad in your book. You know, an experience. Um, different experiences that come into our life are are ultimately here to teach us. So I feel as though when you start coming into this home energy, I feel like you're really going to start living within that present moment. You're going to be able to heal heal yourself. And I feel like maybe even some of you might be um, looking into doing some sort of meditation, some sort of maybe even Reiki healing or something like that, just to um, kind of help you ascend even more spiritually. Um, and if you're not doing that, like, I feel as though you are going to be, you know, really doing what's best for you, Scorpio. And I know, I know with Scorpios, like, um, like I said, at the beginning, we tend to be very closed off and, and to ourselves. And, you know, I feel like, with this energy here, I feel as though it's like you're going to be able to really take a step back uh, from whatever it was that you were doing and refocus that energy back on yourself. Noticing uh, little things in your everyday life that have an impact, you know, noticing the birds fly, noticing how they land or hop around and you know, just breathing in the, this air, you know, and, and enjoying this, the cool breeze of the winter, you know, I feel like it's these, these small things in life, you're going to start noticing, and you're going to start feeling grateful for. Um, and ultimately, living in the present moment. 
And it's funny, we've got the vision quest and the owl right next to each other. And the vision quest, it really does talk about, it's like kind of like a hermit energy. You know, you go within and you take time out in order to figure out what it is that you want. How, how it is that you're going, how it is you're going to become your true self, right? Walking the walk, talking the talk. Um, I also just had like this message come in that like during this, during this cycle, during this um, change that you're going through, Scorpio, I feel as though you're really going to be looking at your friends group and your family too. And you're really going to be seeing like which people are part of your soul tribe and which people that have high, high enough energy to stay in your life. Um, because I feel as though if they don't work well with you, I feel as though, you know, it's that time where you're just kind of like, I can't do it anymore. I have to focus on what it is that's going to make me happy in the long run. And ultimately it might not be this relationship and I might not be this friendship. And it's, you know, speaking your truth again, you know, speaking that truth, um, with the crow. And this isn't just speaking your truth with other people. This is being true to yourself, you know, looking at yourself and saying, what can I do? What can I do in order to make my life better? Like I'm feeling as though it's like you're taking the, you know, I'm not saying that all of you have a victim mentality, but you're having, you're taking responsibility for everything that goes on in your life. And you're really taking a look at that and you're saying, okay, like, how is this going to improve my life? How is this going to make me feel at home within myself? And I feel as though once you start, once you start this healing journey, that's when you start to turn into this messenger of fire. This also could be somebody around you, an energy around you. With the messenger of fire, what I'm getting, this is somebody that's very passionate. Somebody is excited. Somebody's ready to go out and to do something creative. Um, this is also, you know, kind of like the player of the tarot with the messenger of fire. You know, very passionate energy, love to love, um, maybe not ready to commit if it was, if, you know, you did recently go through a breakup and just kind of wanting to explore and to be yourself and almost as if it's like you're viewing this world as a playground and you're realizing the type of power that you are, um, that you create whatever life it is you want based on what it is you think and what it is that you say. And I feel as though like this energy, like you're going to be, you're going to be jumping out of this vision quest energy, this hermit energy where you're going within and bursting out into this messenger of fire. I feel as though, you know, and whenever I see this card, I always feel a little bit of vulnerability because she's like a younger girl. She's got her arms crossed, you know, it's like looking at the light but with that, it's, there's so much, there's so much passion, there's so much drive behind this energy. And I feel as though Scorpio, if you don't have some sort of fire energy in your chart, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you're going to be embodying that energy. It's very likely that you could also, once you come out of this hermit hermit energy, you could meet this messenger of fire. And this is really going to give you that push that you needed in order to um, obtain what it is that you want in your life. You know, go after whatever next goal it is that you set for yourself. I feel as though like Scorpio, when that happens, though, like you're, I feel like there's like a, a lot of excitement. You've really got to watch out and be careful not to get burnt out on that energy. And here she's got, she's got like the eight candles on top of her, on top of her crown there. 
And I'm just thinking, you know, this energy isn't going anywhere. That energy that you're going to experience isn't going anywhere because it's like you've reignited some sort of new passion when you went inside of yourself. So if you, my ears ringing. So if you, if you're feeling any kind of worry, like you're going to like, you know, you have to get everything done in like that day and you have so many new things that you want to work on, like just be careful not to burn yourself out, you know, make sure that you're getting the rest that you need as well. And then with the council card ending. So they always say the, the first and the last card of the, the spread are the most important. And we've got the nine of water and then the council. So it's pretty much saying like, you're never alone. You can have whatever it is that you want. Um, all you have to do is ask for guidance. If you feel confused at any time. But I feel like, I feel like Scorpio, you're in a really, really great energy right now. Like whatever it is that you you've recently been through, um, I feel like this. I feel like the will is turning for you, and it's turning in a positive direction. So let's go ahead and get you a wisdom of the oracle card. I just heard the message, spreading your wings and flying away. Spreading your wings to fly, Scorpio. That's beautiful. There's many times I've thought like, oh, I wish I was a bird. <laughs> Especially when I'm hiking, get to the top of the trail and it was like, it would be so cool to like, fly down right one of my friends told me that on one of our hikes she's like wouldn't it be cool to be a bird right now it's like heck yeah I would all right what wisdom do you have for Scorpio Oof. okay there goes all of the cards I'm not going to take all of these guys. Okay, listen for Scorpio, please. To be fair, interesting. And we got fork in the road at the bottom. So I feel as though there is some sort of decision that you have recently made or you're about to make. Um, and again, that card is saying like you've got guides around you that'll that'll show you which direction to go, which way is the right way to go. You just have to ask. So we've got to be fair, which came out and flew out. So let me go ahead and read that one to you. It's all about balance, you know, balancing these energies within yourself in order to be the best version of yourself. Okay. Life offers experiences that are challenging and experiences that are nourishing, yet over time they strike a balance. You move from being from stasis to doing from discovery to loving to letting go to being again. Life is a pendulum swinging between all of these states. You will always oscillate back and forth between doing and being. If you are not content with where you are at at this moment. Remember that all experiences have their place. Accept them without judgment and you will see how the universe adjusts in perfect balance. You reap what you sow. For every cause, there is an effect. Wondrous things will be revealed now. Interesting. I mean, that just kind of goes with the whole reading. You know, it's like... Like I said at the very beginning of this reading, you know, this is all part of the wheel of life. Sometimes you're at the bottom and sometimes you're at the top, but regardless of where you're at, where you're at, there's 
always something of value. Like nothing is ever a waste of time if you're learning from it. So this is the message that I have for you, Scorpio. I hope that it resonated. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, go ahead and hit that like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Thank you. Namaste.